video has been brought to you by Hennessyville Pawn. Y'all need to shop Hennessyville Pawn for all y'all lifestyle needs. And for those of y'all that don't know, Hennessyville Pawn has been sponsoring all my videos since I started the channel. And y'all need to go buy that, man. Show some love, show some support. And uh, buy something. What it do, gang? It's your boy Luke back with another legendary Volkswagen video today. Um, I probably ain't finna do much today. I was finna, I was finna reroute um, my my lighting wire, and I came out here to work on the um. Sorry, you know, I'm throwing stuff in the trash. But I came out here to work on the Cabrio and I went to go start it and something's killing my battery. So, upon further investigation, oh God, I was eating some donuts earlier. Got crumbs all on my dog on face. But it's all good, it's life. Um. I came out here earlier and something's been killing my battery. And I don't know what's been killing my battery, but um trying to get that battery on charge. And this this terminal right here, it just it that's that's definitely not factory. This is what the factory terminal looked like right here. I don't know what this is, so I'm probably gonna change all that out. I'm gonna change all that, and um, I'm gonna charge that battery up. See, I already got my battery tender hooked up. I just gotta run the drop cord and stuff like that right there. But I was gonna um, hook up my halos, you know, just so I can get the switch and stuff ran. I really need to degrease this engine bay. That's probably what I'm gonna do because this thing right here, it's, it's been sitting for a while. I don't know why they parked it or why they let it sit, but when I was in there, you know, checking fuses and stuff, like there was a bunch of stuff to the um, fuse panel. It was disconnected from the back. So I connected all that stuff back. Um, they, had, they had relays in the place of 15 amp fuses and like like you can't do that like see this right here they had this in the place of a 15 amp fuse so I still, I still got my I got my fuse but all this stuff right here was hanging it was all hanging and then half the stuff on the other side of the um on the other side over there, it was like disconnected. So I connected it all back up. And then I noticed whenever I, as um, soon as I hooked power to the car, that this radio right here, it just stayed on. The guy that I got it from, he got it from some people and I think that it was just, you know, just a just a, a hodgepodge project for them. But I don't think they knew what they was doing. So I'm here to the rescue now. So I disconnected that radio and as soon as I pulled it out I noticed that they had the um they had the um accessory wire, like straight wire to hot and you can't do that. You can't do that because then the radios, like, as soon as you, the, the radio just stays on. If the accessory switch is hooked to the hot, then it just stays on. And I believe that was part of my problem that was killing the battery. So, I'm not worrying about sounds right now. I'm worried about getting this thing running, getting my lights functional. Because I got tail lights, my turn signals and stuff work, my, my backup lights, all the lights in the back, they work fine. It's the lights in the front. <clears throat> then I went to go get, because when I got it, the guy, the picture that he posted, 
Um, he posted it complete. He posted the car was complete. It was untouched. He just wanted to get rid of it. But when I got over there, right, he had took the body kit off of it. The front bumper was gone. The only thing that was on the car was the rear bumper. So I had to contact him because I, I couldn't find the turn signals. And the turn signals work in the back. So I know if they work in the back, they work in the front. But they don't work because they're non-existent. They ain't there. So I pretty much got the car. I pretty much got the car and then I got a pile of parts right here. See the bumpers? Those are the old springs that I took off. But and I went I went ahead and took the back bumper off, but I had to go get this piece right here today. That goes behind this bumper and I was under the impression that I was going to look up and get the turn signals and when I when I got over there he when I got over there look at these dogs. When I got over there he didn't he wasn't there and the turn signals was not in the bumpers. Hey puppies. Look at you guys. Aww. Puppy. Yeah, when I got over there, they just wasn't in the, they wasn't in the bumper. So I'm gonna have to track down some turn signals for the front. Um, the car runs good. I can't complain. I can't complain about the car. And then the the sender. I'm going to get the car painted back the same uh, highlighter green or yellow or ever how it's showing up on y'all's um, TV screen. I watched a video the other day and it looked like it was highlighter yellow, but it's actually like a lime green. Like when I'm sitting here looking at it, it's actually a lime green. It's very bright when the sun hits it. I do like the color, but I don't like the way that they painted it. Whoever painted it, um, they should have took the I should have took the body mold off, and I don't know if they paid for the, to have the door jams done, but it would have been nice to have the door jams done. So I'm gonna probably end up blacking out the door jams, blacking out the doors and stuff, because that this color right here, you know, and then the the door panels. I'm gonna get them recovered. I'm going to order a new carpet and I'm going to get the seats recovered. I don't know what I'm going to do with the top yet. It's supposed to rain tomorrow, so I'm probably going to end up covering it back up with that um, tarp over there. I did waterproof the top, but I'm not going to take any chances. I'm going to just cover the top up because I finally got it dry on the inside. And those of you guys that know cars, whenever, whenever moisture gets inside of a car, Normally it'll you know it'll find its way inside of a wire. It'll corrode the wires and it will create bad a bad connection. I was just wanting to keep you guys posted. I hadn't put up a video in a couple of days because I've been working. Got to work to keep the funds rolling for the project for the channel. So those of y'all who just watched the video, hit that like button, smash that notification bell, join. The mini camper gang. Yeah. Still got a long way to go. Still got a long way to go. I am going to um, go ahead and put some insurance and stuff on it. And I'll probably start driving it. Um, just, you know, just to, just to get the kinks out. I'm probably going to pull those wheels off and I'm going to black out the inner fender wheels. And I'm going to have to order my grill. I'll probably order that tomorrow. Yeah, I might just order that grill tomorrow because I want the, the Phantom grill, the one that just has the two headlights. I'm going to have to reroute the turn signals. I want to block off these bumper holes right here because I'm not going to go. I'm not going to put a bumper back on it. 
I'm not gonna put a bumper on the rear either. I'm just gonna leave it like that right there. I'm probably gonna shave some stuff. Those, the holes on the body lines right there, I'm gonna figure out how to fill those. On my last, on the last um, MK1 body style convertible that I had, I, I, th I think I, I bondoed it. I sanded it all down and then I bondoed it and it was just, you know, it didn't have that body line going down the side right there. I don't I don't know if I'm gonna go back. I don't know if I'm gonna go back and do that to this one. I, I don't know yet. I don't know if I'm gonna use the trim. I'm not really too fond of trim. I like a smooth body. Um that black piece is probably definitely gonna have to go. I'm probably gonna take that black piece out and just paint that have that painted black or whatnot. I'm just still on the fence on whether I want to keep this color or not because it's bright like it, it can't be missed I just want to keep you guys posted man on what was going on today it's a work in progress it ain't gonna happen overnight either but it is gonna happen so it is gonna happen so, I guess whenever I get my parts, whenever I get the parts that I need, I, I did grab new spark plugs. They couldn't seem to find the rotor button. I did put a new cap on it. I'm probably going to build me some spark plug wires because I have a, um, I have a spark plug wire kit. And they're the 9mm kind. So, I'm probably going to end up just dismantling these plug wires and building my own because there's a crack in this one right here there's a crack in that one and i don't want it to arc off or nothing so yeah that's all that's going on for right now but as soon as i get some more as soon as i get more parts and stuff i'm gonna, I'm gonna we're gonna do another video i don't know what my next video is going to be about other than me getting it road ready. I'm probably going to have to get two new tires or two used tires because I'm not going to put new tires on these rims because I'm not keeping these rims. I'm going to order some new rims, but I haven't decided what size I'm going to go with. Y'all let me know in the comment section what size wheels y'all think I should go with. I'm thinking about going with some 15 by 8s. Or I might go with some 16s, but I know that 17s, to me, they look too big. And I want, I want, you know, just a, a little bit more rubber. Um, because it's already on coilovers and I don't want to, I don't want to like crack a wheel or nothing like that. I had 17s on my blue one and I traded the 17s for a set of 15s, I think. Might have been a set of 15s. Well, it might have been a set of 16s. I don't know what size those wheels were. But if I could get those wheels back, I would love to have those wheels back. Because them wheels right there, man, they was chopping, boy. Them they were chopping. Especially when they was in motion, man. Them jokers chopped real hard. But... <laughs>